to what our buyers actually looking for and do those search terms that they put into Poshmark match up with the kinds of things that we're putting on our listings. And I thought swim would actually be a really great opportunity to check in on this because there's swimsuit, there's bathing suit, there's monokini, tanky, there's so many different kinds of words. There may be other words that people are searching for that are not the official fashion keyword terminology that we may be ignoring. Download your free reseller resource guide today. I constantly update and share with you discounts, favorites, tools, and resources to help you with your reselling business. After the video, click the link in the description and get your totally free guide today. I'm back with another crazy keywords video for you. This time it's all about swim. I just did a swim bolo brands video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. This is now the crazy keywords that we're finding from those listings because you can see these searches, what are buyers actually looking for, and do those search terms that they put into Poshmark match up with the kinds of things that we're putting on our listings. And I thought swim would actually be a really great opportunity to check in on this because there's swimsuit, there's bathing suit, there's monokini, tanky, there's so many different kinds of words. There may be other words that people are searching for that are not the official fashion keyword terminology that we may be ignoring. So let's go ahead and get our swimsuit sold by finding some of these interesting keywords that buyers are looking for. Let's dive in. Okay, fashionable plus size swimwear. That's interesting. I don't put fashionable on any of my listings, but that's really interesting. I do put plus size. And so if you list it as a size 16, great. But I have found, which I find it odd, that people do look for plus size and then they don't say the size. To me, it would be like, wouldn't you want to look for your actual size? But I don't know. So I do see that putting plus size is good plus size fringe bathing suit, trendy plus size swimwear. So some people are putting swimwear, some people are putting bathing suit. Then we have plus size vintage swimwear, high-waisted bikinis plus size, high-waist bathing suit plus size, underwire plus size swimwear. That's critical. Like if you have a top that has underwire, you need to be putting that because some people want that type of support they want that type of look and style and that's critical two-piece versus bikini that's important are you writing two-piece or are you just writing bikini uh plus size flattering swimwear flattering is one of those keywords that is really great because people do look for it and you know we don't really know is the swimsuit flattering or not but it's something where if you feel like it has slimming effects or if it's, let's say, like a miracle suit, you would want to be putting slimming and flattering. Those are important keywords. Wholesale plus size swimwear. That's interesting. Sexy swimsuit. So that's really good, too. Are you classifying it as sexy? If it has cutouts, if it's a deep plunge, a deep V, are you putting uh, sexy? I don't know that I have sexy on some of mine. Sexy one piece, swimsuit, sequin bikini, Lane Bryant swimwear, Victoria's Secret bikinis, Beach Riot one piece, uh, Ed Hardy swimwear, Ashley Graham bathing suit. So again, the same kind of words are coming up again and again, which I kind of figured. There's only so many, I guess, types or cuts, but there are these other words floating around that I find interesting. So I'm going to kind of skip over some of these that, you know, we've kind of said. So tie dye bikini um swim bottoms so that's good if somebody's specifically looking for a swim bottom star bikini swimsuit hottie halter vs add two cups bikini so i just spit that's a specific kind that's the name that's that style they want the add two cups bikini um neoprene bikini so neoprene is the fabric and so if there's a particular type of fabric that is specific to a brand or highly sought after or particularly noteworthy, you may want to be adding that. Um, Cause that would be something that somebody says, hey, I know I like that feel, that's the kind of fabric that I want. I'm gonna be searching for that. 
Don't forget to stop by the Rebecca the Reseller Academy where you can find all of the products and all of the educational tools I have available for you, including all the free goodies. Here you can find coaching calls, Poshmark closet reviews, digital downloads, including my free reseller resource guide, as well as all of my courses and all of the bundles to save you lots of money. Hope you'll stop by soon at the Rebecca the Reseller Academy. New <laughs> bottoms, beautiful beach beauty bikini, bikini bottoms with cute design. Interesting. On bikinis from Victoria's Swimwear um, or Victoria's Secret. Fun orange pattern swimsuit. So if you have an orange swimsuit and there's an orange pattern on it and you think it's fun, you may want to write that so you can come up in that ladies search. Light green two-piece swimsuit. So with color, and this is not just for swimsuit, with color you want to always be thinking what other colors can I say because what I think is mint, you might think is sea foam. And neither one of us probably know what we're actually talking about, but then someone else might be like, oh, that's a nice light green. That's a nice pale green. That's a pretty pastel green. They all are right, except for the ones that are very specific, but most people don't really know how to identify what is sage, what is mint, what is sea foam. I certainly don't. I'm not an interior designer. I don't know these things. So I would just call several kinds of shades those. So really good to kind of have multiple color keywords for your listings. This one says multicolor, and I think that's important. Sometimes I put colorful, multicolor, so that you can kind of come up. Sometimes if it would also kind of make sense, I would put rainbow. Chevron for print, string bikini, that's important. I don't always put that, string bikini, that's a good one. Um, again, I don't do a lot of them, but um, that's a good one. Bikini Bandit, Monokini, so that's a very particular type of cut. God Saves Queen Swimsuit, Monokini, One Piece, Pink Swim, Swimsuit, Swimsuit. So again, some people are putting swim bottom, swim top, swimsuit, bathing suit. Mm, this one, this pink ruffle ver VS bikini to trade. <laughs> Um, J. Crew bathing suit bottom bikini, cute blue bikini, cheeky. So cheeky when half of your butt cheeks are hanging out. That's cheeky. Nude bathing suit, and that could be also a brand. Like maybe it's cheeky nude. I don't know, but cheeky does mean that your butt cheeks are hanging out a little bit. Um, lace up one piece. So that would be a nice particular type of style. Beach Bunny Lace Pants, Beach Bunny Shorts, Beach Bunny Monokini. So this is a brand. Jeweled Bikini, uh, Lady Lace, Swimwear Sale, Towel. So all those were very specific to the brand. That was one that came up in my Bolo brand, so that's why. Victoria's Secret High Waisted Bikini Bottom. So again, if it's a high rise or high waisted, you definitely want to be putting that or versus low so that you have that clarification. Um, Brazilian swimsuit, so important again, bikini, bikini, bathing suit, bikini bottom, bikini bottom, cheeky, hipster, hipster is another one that's important. So hipster would be like a low rise type with the full brief usually. Bathing suit, these are all very basic. Sequin, Lane Bryant, did I already say that one? I feel like I already said that. Um, so that doesn't really have anything to offer. Tribal print bikini. So tribal print's one of those things that's kind of like, I always forget about. Uh, bikini bottom separate, high-waisted swim bottom, never worn. So brand new, never worn, one piece, cut out swimsuit. So cut out's a good keyword there. Um, and then this lady's like, I want it brand new and never worn. So I'm looking specifically for that. And that also is a good point. So if someone searched brand new, would you come up? Would Poshmark serve them new with tags? Because obviously a lot of us put NWT in our title, right? Because we want to showcase that. And then we're going to mark it with the filter new with tags. But in my listing description, I actually do write out brand new with tags. 
So, because sometimes people don't know NWT, things like that. They may not know what that means, just like people don't know what EUC and all that stuff is. So, brand new wouldn't be bad to write out. I'm covered because I already have it in mine. But if Poshmark doesn't know to match brand new with new with tags, then you might want to be putting brand new. Just saying. Brown bikini bottoms, crochet bikini, bottom barely worn. <laughs> Fun and sexy reversible swimsuit. Okay, very specific, yet also vague. <laughs> reversible swimsuit, but fun and sexy. What if one side is fun and sexy, but the other side is boring and ugly? Would that work for her? I wonder. Gorgeous Millie bikini. So it can't just be a regular bikini. It has to be a gorgeous Millie bikini. And now I'm just making fun of people. This is what I should do. Like I, This should be comedy hour with Rebecca where we just go in and look at searches and then we roast the people searching them. No, I'm just kidding. I actually, you guys think I'm making fun of people and I am, but in a very like appreciative, grateful way that I can learn from it because whether I think it's the right thing to search for doesn't matter. It's what that person is searching for. And if I want to potentially sell my listing to that person, we need to make a match. And the only way we make a match is if she finds mine or I find hers. And so if this girl says, I need a fun and sexy reversible swimsuit and I have a reversible swimsuit, it will probably come up. Um, but if I didn't put reversible, wouldn't come up. Now the fun and sexy part, that's different. But I do think that if somebody had, because we saw it before, if someone just put sexy trendy or sexy bikini swimsuit so they don't care what color it is they don't care what brand it is and a lot of people don't care what brand a swimsuit is I'm missing out if I'm not putting sexy or if I'm not putting trendy or if I'm not putting Brazilian or if I'm not putting crochet or there's so many keywords that we found here they may not all be glaringly common like some of the other crazy keywords videos where it came up again and again and again we found a lot of them and so I definitely think that there was some really good stuff here so I hope that you guys enjoyed this one this was pretty eye-opening for me there are definitely a few that I'm gonna take away here um, and I hope you do the same and then let me know what kind of categories you want me to be doing next I'm starting to kind of <laughs> have cycled through all the categories on these crazy keywords videos so let me know what you know categories you may want to learn more keywords about and, and identify what people are searching for and you can do this anytime just go to any listing sold or available scroll down and you can see people also searched and find that so you can do your own crazy keyword research. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.